everyone, it's Marcy Besseker. I am a coach and manager with Fun Stampers Journey. Why don't you come on in, have a seat, and let's get crafty. Hi everyone. Today I thought we would work on a card that is something that I took to convention. I did as my dude swap, and it is a pan pastel creation that I did and I use pan pastels there's glaze on there there's some silk silver silk I did embossing on the plane and on the words there and so I wanted to do something fun like this um, I really like the pan pastels it is um, a quick and easy card that I really enjoyed and I've had a lot of compliments on it and we posted our swaps on the coach connection website for the coaches for fun stampers journey and i had a lot of compliments and somebody requested that i do a video so i thought um, this would be a good video to do and share how i did my card so what i'm going to do first is i want to share with you our new catalog that we got at convention it is an amazing catalog it is 334 pages long it's bigger than last year's. And so when people say, oh, I want a catalog, can you send one to me? And we do charge for these. They are um, $12.95. You can pre-order the catalog from my website. And it is pre-order right now. The catalog goes live July 1st. So it will um, ship directly out to you. It is not only a catalog. In fact, Richard calls it an inspiration book and catalog because it truly is an inspiration book and catalog. If you see here, I'll show you the different things we have in here. We have a lot of um, mixed media items. Um, there's a lot of places that do not have that. Look at this, the gel press. Oh, it says all here because I want it all. Um, I love mixed media and you'll be seeing some videos coming from me on the items also. Uh, the pan pastels, which is what I'm using today. We just added these four colors. There's so much more to show you, um, our stencils. But let me go back a, a little ways here and show you, look at these beautiful cards, these examples that are put into the catalog. Look how gorgeous these are. It's just page after page of ideas. I and mean, look at this cute kid's birthday party items. I'm, I'm giving you some sneak peeks here on some new items that we're having. Look at how cute this little envelope is with something that looks like a gift card inside. There's just ideas. Every page has ideas. So this truly is an amazing catalog, not just to purchase the stamps or to see what you might want. But look at this, all ketchup packages with the French fries. How cute is that? Every single page, I'm gonna just click over a few. Look, for pictures, for, for scrapbook, look at this. I mean, every page is just a ton of ideas and fun things to come. I will pop to the front here quickly after I show you my favorite. Look at this Christmas that I cannot wait. It has a die. Anything but the green around it has a die. So these these trees, let me see if I can pull it up. I'm not sure you're getting a glare or what, but there is a beautiful set there. See if I can adjust this light a little bit. It might be a little too, too much here. Sorry about that. It kind of seems bright. I want you to be able to see it okay. All right, let's see if that helps. Okay, so in the front of the catalog, I want to show you, there is a special that's going to be going on for in July 1st, it is a $99 kit that we're going to start. And what it does is it does not have the machine. So if you already have a machine, you're already maybe a um, 
a hobbyist or even in a business and you've decided that you want to join Fun Stampers Journey, but you have a machine, so you don't want the expense of the machine, we do have this special kit. It's $99. You will get your catalogs. You will get your business forms, everything else you need. You just will not get the machine. If you do want the machine, there is the platinum machine that will be available, and that is for $199. You can get everything, including the case of catalogs and the large platinum machine, which is the 8.5 by 11 that you can do our large steel cut dies and our larger our larger dies um, can fit that. But all of the other dies also fit the Amaze machine, which will no longer be in a kit. So you can purchase it. It is still available, just not in a kit. So that is some exciting news. Then what we did is Richard changed our hosts. We have a host exclusive. We were trying it out. We had it in a few catalogs where you could get a special item if you put in a party for X amount of dollars. Now what we've done is for a party of 150 or more, and anything that is 150 or more is considered a party. So you can get these occasional mini dies, or you can get this Mystic Vine, which is a die, or you can get this die, which is Sweet Petals. And then this one, of course, with the three. So that is for the parties of 150. Over here for a $300 party, you can get this stamp set. And what it is is you, there is a price on these I should, I should share. So for these over here, it's $4.95 for each of those is, is all you will pay for these. Um, they're normally, the value is $10.95. This set here is the value is $19.95. You can get it for $8.95 for the stamps and $9.95 for the dies to match. So with a $300 party, you can get one or the other. You do not get both, I don't believe. You get one or the other. Then we have the hexagon piercing elements for $9.95, regularly $21.95. Now the hexagon piercing elements, we do have the hexagon regular um, dies in the back, the straight cut dies. These are just for piercing, okay? And then we have totaling 600 the sweet succulents look at these beautiful flowers those are what you can make with this die so a party of 600 or more you only pay 10.95 for this and then we have this beautiful our family our family forever and it's it is a double pack there's 23 stamps in this and it's only 18.95 and i actually I'll just show you quickly. Made this cute little card here. And I put some sparkle dust on the the um, magnolias. And it's an anniversary card. So I just put happy anniversary. Look at that beautiful font. And that's on a stamp set that we have this year too. My focus is kind of weird. Sorry. I'm trying a new system and it's kind of giving me little issues. So then we always have our bloom benefits. Bloom benefits with us as all, all year round. So with Fun Stampers Journey, every $50 that you put an order in, you will get a bloom benefit. So it says get rewarded for shopping every $50, $75, or $100 you spend, you can get out of catalog. So let's say that you spend $150, you can get just the $150 item, excuse me, $100 item is one of these over here. And if you, or you can get two fifty dollar items, or if you spend one hundred and fifty, you can get a hundred dollar item and a fifty dollar item, or two seventy five dollar items. And these there are no cost. Once you hit, this is even your customers or um, as a coach. So you do not hit. Uh, you, there is no charge for these. This is what you get as your gift. If it's a fifty dollar, you get one of these. Seventy five, one of these. You can also just get one of these, but then you wouldn't get the value of the $75 item or 100 over here. Let's say you already have these and you decide, I my party, you know, I ordered $100 worth of items. Now you're going to get two of these or one of these and, you know, to the value. And then I have to show you this Mystic Romance really quickly. This is embroidered. It is an embroidered look. So if you can see... Let me pull this up here for you. 
you can see the embroidery print on the card. And then let me show you the next one up at the top. It is an embroidery print on the stamp. I hope you can see that okay. It is absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, those are the sneak peeks I wanted to give you really quickly. There's so much more, so many samples in here. Um, just, and look at the cover. It's just beautiful. Okay, so I wanted to show you a little bit about that. We also have a holiday catalog that is available. So again, I just wanted you to know the pre-order of the catalog. There's your number right there. If you go to my website, this listed up here above, you can go to that website, put this order number in here, the CL0025, and that will get you a pre-order of the catalog. Okay, so there, there's a little information there. So now back to our card. So I'll just show you quickly what I did. It was super simple. So I have the background and I have my accent color. And what I do is I put a little tiny mark in the corner. This is the piece of paper that I'm going to stamp on. And so this is going to be my scratch paper. This is going to be my scene paper. So this is going to be the plane, the plane and the words. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down my pan pastels. And what I do is I pretty much bring all the colors down just because I know that there are different ones from different colors that I might use. And now we have these new ones and there are, they're just beautiful. They're a little, not exactly the color I want for this card, but um, we have a lot of greenery, a lot of new things coming up. So we will definitely be using those. So we'll put that aside for now. I'm going to be using the Mother Nature. This one is from the Rich Sorbet, so I will be using that one too. The Mother Nature, I like to use the darker green. And the olive green. So these, I like to um, have mine like this and screw them in. A lot of people don't, they like them flat in the palette that we got them in. But I prefer it this way just because um, for my space in my room. And I'm also going to be using the cocoa. So I'm going to go ahead and leave these all out like that. And my blue I'm going to use from uh, my Party Pop. And I just put a label on these. And what I did is on the paper that you get them with, it tells you what color they coordinate with. And I just wrote it on the bottom. So this is Beach Ball. And so I do a little bit of that, and I also do some denim. And my denim days is right here. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is I like to start with the yellow, and it's just a little bit of yellow. You can hardly see it on the card, but just kind of go back and forth a little. That's about it. Not too much. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the sky. I'm going to start out with my beach ball one. And I'm just going to start off and kind of come in. And I want this to kind of go up to the yellow. So I just kind of, now just kind of go brush it back and forth so you don't have those lines. Okay. And now I'm going to do a little bit of the water too. So you want to, I want to do a little water down here. And I liked the way that it looked kind of like a little island. So you want to do that. And you know what's so nice about pan pastels is they are messy, but they are so forgiving. And so I'm going to leave my blue. I could do a little more. Now you can use the same blue. You can just kind of wipe it off and go to the darker blue. And I'm just going to kind of come in and frame it a little bit. Remember, this is a sky. And I kind of want it just 
You just do it to where you, what you like. And I just kind of blend it in a little bit, a little bit darker on the corners down here, just to kind of frame it. And I'm good with that. Okay. Um, I always have baby wipes near me and a dry towel because you don't want to put your wet hands back on, but you do want to kind of not get your color all over your card either. And then I tend to have like a, a brush that I could just go sideways on because you don't want it to come down, your blue to come down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my brown. And I have my brown on a tool and, and I, I flip these and these get loved very much. So, um, and I just kinda, just kinda come in and then just do it. I did a little dark and that's okay. You're just gonna kinda blend it. Now I always have a dry baby wipe. And then I'm gonna come in and just lighten this up a little bit, just going over it, burnishing it in also. But I went a little dark on that, and that's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna come back in with my blue a little. And now with my yellow, just kind of go lightly over it. It's ne You're never going to get the same card twice. Never going to get the same. All right, so now I'm going to get uh, my Stay Wild. And just a quick note, I, I'm switching over. My room, you probably saw behind me, is a disaster because I used to have my cases like this. I used to put my stamps in here and my dies because I had uh, short shelves that I had created for stamps that I had in cases like this. Um, I realized that I I really like this way better. Um, Richard has, with Fun Stampers Journey, we have these um, pouches. And then you can just put your stamps in there just like this. And then you can also put a small envelope inside with all your dies. Um, and have everything together and you're not even going to, I'm going to do a video once I'm all done organizing, but uh, the, the amount of space that I saved is incredible. So I'm so happy about that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to do it this, no, I'm going to do it this way. And then what you want is you want your clear pigment ink. Okay, so I just ink it up really good. And then my first one I'm gonna do is the trees over here to the side. So I just put some trees right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna ink it up again. And then I'm gonna come in and do my scene right about here. And you'll see I'm lining the brown, like the tree line here, with the brown down below, and then this will be up above. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brown, and I'm just going to slightly go over everything on the brown and you can tell I did the brown a little dark you can't quite see it as well so that's a note but you can see there's the deer and the outline I just I should not have done that brown so dark but that's okay it kind of gives you an idea and now I'm going to go into the green same thing you just lightly gonna go up Uh, 
you just want to it to go so you kind of want to lay it flat and I'm going to do a little bit of a lighter color too on here okay make sure you get the tops of your trees and then I'm going to go with the lighter and I'm going to go over here this is the lighter green I'm doing it with the olive but I want to come back in with the forest in here a little bit. And just kind of make sure you get all your trees. Okay, so you can kind of see the scene. And I'm going to go back in with the brown just a little bit. Down here, it looks like I missed some. Okay, and like I said, you can see it, but I wish I would have done the, the brown just a little lighter. Okay, and I'm gonna go back in, make sure I got this whole little tree here. It's a skinny little tree. I wanna make sure I got it all. Okay, and again, I just kind of brush it off. Now, what you wanna do with your pan pastels is you wanna set it. You want your, because they will get on your fingers. So you want to set it. Now what I like to do is take a pump hairspray and then just lightly mist over it. I don't have a pump right now. I run out. So I just have this little, little sample, you know, like travel can and I just spray it and it just seals it in for me. So that helps seal it. So now I'm done with the pan pastels and I'm going to, just move them out of my way here. And now what I would normally do is I would stamp my airplane and emboss it, which I've already done. So you can see it's embossed, it's all shiny. And so what I did is, because you're gonna have the plane up in the air, that white is just sticking out there. So you don't want that. So let me, at this point, I like it to be a little cleaner for the rest of my card. So I usually just tap this off and then I, I spray it, of course, and it dries really fast. So I'm just gonna turn this like this. So it's kind of cleaned up a little bit. And then there, it just cleans up super fast. But okay, so there's that and I want to, I want to actually add a little more of my dark blue in here. It looks a little not as dark as I'd like. So just a little, a little here. Okay, so I just mucked up my paper again, but that's okay. There is magic. Oh. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your airplane though, and you're gonna kind of just do a little blue on them. Just so that, you know, you can, you can get it darker like that. So what I'm gonna do is come back over here and really kind of rub on it. Cause you want it, you want it to kind of match the sky. It doesn't have to exactly match the sky, but it looks a little better when it's matching the sky. Okay. All right. If I take my dry one, and then what I'll do is I'll pop this up. But before I did that, you can tell right here, I did a little silver sparkle, but I also took the colorless because it is kind of a smoke you know coming off of the so I just lightly did a little colorless pan pastel here this is really really good um, when you stamp your plane what I do is I just run my finger across like this I just take it on the paper and I just do this and then stamp it and it helps the static it helps keep the embossing powder just where you want it when you use your 
clear pigment ink and you don't have to have little sprinkles of your embossing powder all over. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put this, he's coming out of the sky like that. I'm going to take my silver silk. You want to make sure all your silver at the bottom is blended really well. Okay, now you can tell it's all blended. And I just did just a couple, just like it's coming out of the plane. So you can see there, just a couple of sparkles there. And then I took my words. I like to cut them. It kind of reminds me of a little more um, mixed media, cutting your words like that. And so I'm going to pop those up. And what I did with the twine. I do what Richard does and I just do a little circle, a bigger circle and a circle this way. And then what I did is I took my, my runner and just put a little there just to help hold it on. Okay, and then I go over it because it is on pan pastels. Pan pastels, actually, you can tell what it did is it picked up the color. So I forgot. You need to kind of be careful of that because pan pastel, I haven't hairsprayed this one. So I'm just going to put some glue and I'm going to move my string up where I want it. There we go. Now. I'll set it all afterwards, but you really want to set it before. So now that's going to hold the string there, but it's actually going to um, it is actually going to be hidden by the. Here's our bloom tool. I took it to convention, so I have it kind of in packing storage mode. Okay, and my glue, I pulled out the string, so just there we go. All right, so let that dry. And then you want your begin. And remember these, not everything sticks as well unless it's been sprayed. So you kind of really want to spray it. So then what I did is I just took my pan pastel piece and I put it on some forest green. And then I did a black base. that and I went ahead and just did it flat also at convention we had so many things to carry home and I didn't do all my cards with a lot of popping up I did with my mixed media ones and those but so obviously you can tell on this one I did a little more sunlight here, um, some sky it might have been going dusk, and this one's a little more not as sunny. It just depends on what colors you wanted. I kind of wanted to do one with, with that and pop it a little bit more. I went a little hard and fast with the, the brown, the cocoa, and I should have done it a little lighter so you could see the animals, but it is getting dark in that picture, so it kind of works out okay, but that's something to pay attention to. on. Uh, if you're going to be doing, especially with the pan pastels, because it's such a 
a tricky little light handed um, tool that you're going to use to put that on there. So what else, what I also wanted to show you with this card is another card that I saw in the catalog and I thought I saw it at convention and I was like, oh my gosh, how cute is that? So let me show you. This card here. And when you get the catalog, it is on page 101. Now look how cute that sample is there. So I did that card. And I'll show you. It's right here. I mean, look how cute and simple that card was. So what I did, and I'll show you on this piece of paper here so we'll just do it on this card base let's see i guess they're about the same this one okay so we'll show you here what i did and looks like he took the splat stamp which is one of my favorites Get it here. I have two. That's how much I like it because I use it for a lot of stuff. I use it for mixed media. I use it just for a ton of things. So let me write this up really quickly. I used and put the splat on. So all he did is took some pull play, or this is what I'm thinking he did. And I'm going to turn it this way. And he put two splats. Just, oops, my stamp pad was in the way, and that's okay. All right. And then he took a darker pad. I'm going to use this time, I think Beach Brief. I don't remember which one I used on that one. But all he did is do this so you just take your stamp pad and you just kind of fan it and you just fan it around like it's a propeller on an airplane and then you just put your airplane right on that i didn't do one but this is what i did so you can also use the shorter end. And I think that's what I did on this one is just use the shorter end. But it just looks like the propeller in the background looks like the air. And then what we did is these rainbow drops. These are so much fun in the middle of flowers or just as an accent. But what I did is I took the medium one and then the small one and put those on there. And we got these at last year's convention and I use them often, but there, there's a lot left. So anyway, that's what we did. And then what I did is I added some silver um, silk, another favorite item of mine. And I also used the Coldplay, the Coldplay um, silk also I used on here. And then I just embossed this in white on black and then I embossed the plane again. And that's just, it turned out really cute. Really cute. So those are my cards for today. I just wanted to give you an idea of how I did that card. And obviously they can come out differently every time you do them. It just depends on what color you want to use. The pan pastels are a great background, great for um, sunsets, great for just adding something. I color with them. You can use the tip of these and you can just barely put it in and color. Um, I'm excited to try the flowers and the embroidery items. Um, what I like about it is it has lines on it so you can darken. A lot of the stamps you'll notice, they have a little, um, not just the embroidery, but other stamps have a little bit of um, a dark shadowing spot and you can shadow and darken a little bit. So even though you stamp with a stamp for your image, you can always take the pan pastels and just kind of color in or the 
the color burst pencils or the watercolor pencils and color where the etching is and that really helps um, with a little bit of depth in your stamping. So I wanted to um, let you know about some specials that we're having. I, I had explained that that kit, if you were interested in joining, there is a kit for $99 only and that's if you already have a machine. Um, if you have a machine that is not Fun Stamper's Journey and you're just going to be a hobbyist, um, this this, but you kind of want to go towards the business, you're not quite sure yet, this is a great a great way to start. Um, and if there is a $49 kit, if you're just a hobbyist and you, and, and I say just a hobbyist, meaning that you don't need the, the machines, you have machines and you don't, it doesn't matter about the brand. Obviously, if this is going to be a business for you, um, gearing your way towards the supplies that we have to show your customers is, is what you would like to do. But if you are a hobbyist, you want to um, just get your discount. That's how I started. But um, it kind of took off on its own. I, you know, you share with friends, you share with people. They want the discount. They want, you know, to, to get the same deal you're getting. And then you're like, well, okay, all of a sudden you have people underneath you. And it's really a passion. You, you enjoy doing it. You enjoy crafting. Why not make it a business? And um, help buy your supplies and get a great discount. So anyway, this is this is one of the, the July ones and you get double the stamps. Any kit that you sign up with in July, double the stamp set. So however many are in there, you get double. You get to choose double. So that is probably the best offer I've seen so far. $99, you spend that at a local store. Um, I have to say, and I've said this before, once I've switched to Fun Stamper's Journey, um, I don't go into the box stores. Um, I was so excited for Hobby Lobby to finally come to my town. I have only gone in there probably three times, and that was for party paper products, and it was for home decor because we had moved. And that's it. I don't go to the stamping section. I don't even go see what they have. Um, I get the mixed media. I get the crafts. I get the... Um, the items that I want all through Fun Stamper's Journey, so why not? Um, and I just enjoy it so much. So I just wanted to share that with you and to let you know that um, I will be doing a lot more more videos coming up. You can see my oh, wrong side plastic cases in the back. I'm doing a lot of revamping, so I will have um, some more video tours of my room when I get it cleaned up. Before convention, we're doing tons of swaps, crazy busy doing swaps and now my room shows it so I, I need to clean my room but I wanted to share this with you I'm so happy you joined me and I um, would love for you to subscribe and I'm going to be putting the items that I used today in the bottom in the, the show more section down below it'll list everything so if you have any questions one last thing I want to show you is these bracelets I forgot to show you. These bracelets are the new jewelry, part of the new jewelry line with Fun Stamper's Journey. And they say, make dreams happen and enjoy the journey. And they're rhodium plated. And I'll be honest, I have a larger wrist. And they said that they can bend slightly. So you can make them a little smaller, a little bigger if needed. I did not need to make them too much bigger, but I did stretch it a little bit. To get on my wrist, and I'm gonna move this up here. So you can tell um, that I can get them on. They do move, and I was really excited. I thought for sure they were gonna be too small, and I wasn't going to be able to wear them. Although there are other coaches that I saw that have them, and they were able to make them a little smaller for them. So they are the cuff ones. There are more jewelry um, items in the catalog. And I'll show you those on another video because they are some really, really pretty pieces. And um, they're great for, you know, it says make dreams happen and they're uplifting and it's a great gift idea. Anyway, I can go on forever about this catalog because it's so amazing. So again, if you want the catalog, pre-order now. They will be going out the first week of July. It is a huge catalog and lots of inspiration and I really think you're going to enjoy it. Um, my website's at the top. You can go there, put this code in, and that's how you will get your catalog. 
and that will ship to you uh, the first week of July. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.